So in this short video, I'm gonna walk you through how to upload videos to Kajabi. I'm gonna also walk you through how to upload audios and any text files that you want your students to actually consume or download as a go through your own programs. So hey there, Tim Peekman here. I am a Kajabi hero and I am a Kajabi fan. And the definition of a hero is anyone that's made at least a thousand dollars on the Kajabi platform. And this is why I've put together this program zero to Kajabi hero to walk and talk you through everything you need to know to actually get from where you are today to Kajabi hero and beyond. Before we jump into any of the training, I want to first of all, make you an offer. I wanna offer you my extended 30 day trial of Kajabi. That's over double the 14 day trial that's available to the public. You can get access simply head on over to timpeakman.com forward slash Kajabi and create your account today. And as soon as you've done this, I will automate you a free course, Kajabi Unboxed. These are the things that you need to do immediately once you unbox your Kajabi account. And if you stick around at the end of that 30 days to become a paying member of Kajabi and know it and love it like I do, I will grant you another course. It's my sales page templates. You can just download these in a theme and then upload them into your Kajabi account. Yes, this is an affiliate link and all that means is part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel at no extra cost to you. So that being said, let's dive straight on over into the training. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so here we are back inside my partner's account. I've just navigated to products and all products. And in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to upload videos to Kajabi. I'm gonna be talking about the actual course that we're in at the moment. So this is our French vocab mastery course that we just built out. If you go inside the actual course itself into the product, you can upload videos in a couple of areas. You can actually upload videos to the actual post itself, the lesson, or you can actually upload it to the actual theme. So you're actually putting it as like a welcome video, for example. I'm gonna show you both. So before you upload videos, you're gonna to have to build them out. So just think about when you're creating lessons, it could be piece to camera like this, it could be voice over PowerPoint um, or voice over any slides. Uh, you can show your face or not. You pretty much, I would recommend bare minimum, like have a welcome and an, um, uh, an end video of piece to camera, but bare minimum, you could just have voice over slides for, for the majority of it. So understand what you're trying to get across in each and every lesson. I would always recommend reverse engineering this. So working from the end, what what is the main goal of them going through this program? What outcome do you want your students to have at the end? Okay, outcome is X. Okay, so how do we get there? We need to do these five things. In these five modules or lessons, what is the outcome of each lesson? If you can have action steps as well, that's great. But try and identify like two, three or four key learning objectives for each lesson and that will really really keep you on track and actually cut out any of the fluff so just deliver to these outcomes and then it will just give you um, a much easier lesson format so this is designing the content once you've actually put that together i'm assuming you are the subject matter expert in that put that into a video record the video and all all you need to do is video select a file uh, i've just got one on my desktop um, this is one of my previous YouTube videos. I'm just gonna upload it to here. Um, it may take a, a few seconds because this is actually quite a big video. So I'm just gonna pause it whilst this bit uploads. Okay, so it's just finishing off uploading now. It's saying 100% complete and that took about 60 seconds. Soon as it's uploaded, click save. Then it's actually saved into your product. Then it will just take a while actually to encode it and buffer it so it's actually embedded within Wistia, which is um, the video hosting platform within Kajabi. So once that has, I mean, it's queued for processing here. Once that's ready, all you need to do is get, make sure you've got a thumbnail in there, make sure the comments are visible, and then you can actually preview it and then see what that looks like. So if I go, you can see it's still encoding. A couple of things here, Kajabi have actually given you a button, use current frame as a thumbnail. So once it's actually uploaded, you can actually use a frame as a thumbnail or what I would probably recommend do is um, customize a thumbnail in, in Canva, for example, and then put that as a thumbnail. Whilst this is encoding now, I'm just gonna go back into um, one of my courses. And then if I go into Kajabi Unboxed, I'm just gonna go into Customize. And then 
like I said, there's another way that you can upload a video. So if you go into the actual product itself, into customize, then if you go into the, the normal um, product, so you've got the drop downs here, product, post, comment, this is in the product. And um, there is a welcome body here and there's video and product info. If you were to click on video here and upload the same video, the video would be showing up right at the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a new a new file and I'm going to upload that same file. And then I'll, it's just going to give you an example of where this video will show in the actual welcome body of this product. And again, I'm just going to pause this video so you don't have to sit through the entire 60 seconds of the upload. OK, so that's just about finished uploading. So it's upload complete. And then once it's uploaded, remember to click save. Then it's going to encode. Then all you can do here is upload a, an image. And once that's uploaded there, what you're going to do is show welcome body. So this is going to be like an example for like a welcome video. So you're welcoming them into your program. Now, once that's saved, you can actually preview that and it's just going to be the first thing they see. So if you wanted to introduce yourself, if you wanted to show them around the program, this is a really good way of uploading a video to your course but through the custom theme. And this is obviously the content of your course. So going into each one of these, they're gonna be very different. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Going back to actually um, the, the French product here, it's now fully uploaded. You can see that it's uploaded there. You could either use current frame as a thumbnail. So if I was to click uh, for that, or if I was to go through and actually um, find something a little bit, a little bit better here, uh, probably not one with my eyes open, something like that. Use custom frame as a thumbnail and then click save and then have a look at that. But like like I said, I would try and encourage you to, to get a custom thumbnail for your videos. A couple of other things inside here. You can actually, um, if you didn't like that video, you could then just remove video. You can remove thumbnail. Uh, remember to click save, otherwise it won't remove it. And there's some audio uploads that you can actually use. So if you have the audio in the right format, you can upload for the audios here. And then you can upload any file downloads. So if you wanted to put in like a PDF or anything like that, you can add them here. So when people go through your course, they can either watch the video, they can listen to audio, or they can download any audio file, video file, or um, any PDF text file that you want. So those are the ways of uploading videos and uploading the downloadables for your students going through your course. So that's it. Hopefully you found value in this training and you got something out of it and you managed to implement something. If you haven't done already, claim your free account. That link once more, head to timpeatman.com forward slash Kajabi and look for that free mini course that I'll be granting you. Check your spam if it's not there. And if you are progressing past that 30 days and you become a paying member like me, just reach out to me, Tim, at timpeatman.com and I'll grant you that second mini course which involves the sales page templates so you can just download them and upload them into your Kajabi account. And I look forward to seeing you on another video soon.